Welcome to the fourth and final video in the series on using DHS data in R. The purpose of this video series is to give a basic introduction of how to use DHS data using R software. In the first video, we reviewed all the preparations necessary to use DHS data in R. In the second video, we learned how to create new variables in R. In the third video, we learned about the survey package and how to use the survey command for the indicator we coded in video 2 to obtain the percentage and frequency. In this final video, we will learn how to perform cross-tabulations and regressions using the survey package. As a reminder from video 3, here we see how we set the survey design using the weight variable, the primary sampling unit, and the strata. To perform a cross-tabulation of an indicator or outcome with a background variable, you can use the command SVY by from the survey package. In the code shown, we use the SVY by command and indicate that we want to cross-tabulate our indicator mod FP or modern family planning use with place of residence V025. We also indicate that we are using the my survey design. The function we use is SVY mean. We also indicate that we want the sampling error, SE, and the confidence interval, CI, to be calculated using the var type option. In the output, we see that this gives us the proportion of modern family planning use for each category of V025 with the sampling errors and confidence intervals. If you are unsure what the category labels are for V025, you can use print underscore labels command as we have done in video 1. Here, we see for V025, value 1 is urban and value 2 is rural. Therefore, 15.4% of women in rural areas use a modern family planning method compared to 30.7% of women in urban areas. As we have done in video 3, we can also save this table result in an object we name table 2, as shown. You can then refer to this table when needed. We can also obtain the chi-square test results for this cross-tabulation using the SVY chi SQ command. In the code shown, we indicate that we want the chi-square results of mod FP with V025 and using the my survey design. The output shows that there is a significant association between our indicator and place of residence since the p-value is less than 0.05. To perform regression analysis using the survey package, you can use the SVYGLM command. GLM stands for Generalized Linear Models. It is beyond the scope of this video to explain the different types of generalized linear models and their definitions. Here we will show how to fit the model in R for one of the most common types, the logistic regression model. Please type question mark SVYGLM in the console to learn more about this command and how to use it for other types of models. A generalized linear model for a logistic regression is a model with a binomial family and a logit link. To fit a logistic regression, your outcome variable must be a binary variable as we have with our indicator mod FP. The code shown will fit the regression model we defined, which is saved in an object we name reg1. The code shows that we are fitting a regression model of our indicator mod fp with an intercept and the variables v025 and v013. We use as.factor to indicate that v013 should be treated as a categorical variable and not numerical. 
we did not have to do this for V025 since this only has two categories. It also indicated the survey design that should be used, which is My Survey, the family, and the link. You can ignore the warning that is produced after running the code. Once we fit the model and save it in Reg1, we can use the summary command to see our results. The output in the console shows what model was fit and the results, which include the coefficients, standard errors, t-values and p-values for each category. The reference category will not be shown. For categorical variables, the reference category is the category with the lowest label value. For V025, that is urban, that has a value of 1, and for V013, that is women age 15 to 19, that has a value of 1. Recall you can always see the labels for the categories using print underscore labels. If you would like to get the odds ratios instead of the coefficients, we exponentiate the coefficients results from Reg1 as shown. For instance, in this output, we see that women living in rural areas have 0.4 lower odds, or 60% lower odds, of using a modern method compared to women in urban areas. We also know that this is significant from the p-value in the Reg1 results. You can continue to add more variables to your regression model. For any categorical variable, use as.factor as shown. This concludes the four introductory videos of working with DHS data using our software. We hope this will help you begin your analysis of DHS data using R.